So hi guys, we are going to see a media laws and ethics topic, Right to Information Act. So, Right to Information Act, why it is very important to all the citizens of a particular state. So information is about what is happening and what is inside the material. So why the citizen should know the information what is the purpose for them? That's what we're going to see and we're going to discuss in today's section. Okay. What is Information Act? Right to Information Act was passed on 12th October 2005. It extended to all the states and union territories. This act gives Indian citizen the right to access information about any particular authority or institution, including non-government organization, substantially funded by a government. So main concept of this is, when you are a citizen of a particular state, you need to know what is happening around. Or else, the another category, you need to know if any corruption or anything is going against it. Yeah, I want to know what is the exact material content us. We can just directly go to the particular authority. We can collect it from them. For our knowledge, we can use this. Next. What is information according to RTI? What kind of information we can collect? See, one thing we need to understand. Government will have some crucial materials also that they can't share with others apart from their uh, persons. So as a commoner, as a citizens, what are the stuffs we can learn? What are the stuffs we can get it from them for our knowledge? Information means any kind of materials, including uh, records, document, memos, emails, opinions, advices, press release, circulars, orders, law books, contracts, reports, papers, samples, etc. These kind of stuffs which have a common message and which is like, uh, okay, uh, which we can get it from authorities. So that is a, not a big deal to get it from the authorities. But example, the government is discussing some kind of economic or else uh, some army oriented issues. These are very, very crucial kind of a document that we can't get it from others. So that's what we need to understand. What does right to information means? It includes uh, other stuffs like what kind of stuffs we can get it from our government. I mean, authorities means the work documents and records. Example, if you are working under some kind of uh, uh, government institution, if you have particular doubt in your record and others record, you can just directly go and get it from the authorities. Or else if you are being uh, working in any private sector, if you have any queries regarding any particular property or document related stuff, we can go directly and get it from the authorities. Like a certified samples, materials, the informations and printouts and whatever copies you need, you can directly go to the authority and we can get it from them. One thing you need to understand, what is the concept, main aim of RTA? Everyone has the right to freedom of opinion and express. Okay, everyone has a freedom. They can express it. This right includes freedom and hold opinion without interfering and to seek, uh, receive impact, impact information and ideas through any media regarding uh, any kind of information. We can get it. So, uh, who can request for this information? Like, uh, who are the candidates, eligible candidates to get the information means? Public common people can request these kind of information. Of course, they have all the rights to do this. Uh, 18 plus above uh, candidates can directly go and get it from it. So you need to provide a particular valid reason and proof why you need the document and what reason. So that is very crucial to get out the document. And, and also, who are the authority to provide RTA document? Who are the one who give RTA? Public information officers can provide this information to public. 
so there are particular committee members there are particular officer who are working under this rti those people were called as public information officers who are public information officers according to this act public information officers their name okay we can give them in a bracket way those people will provide information uh, to the commoner once they request the act those people will work under this uh, act they are called as public information officer in a short form pio how do you request for this information exactly so what is the procedures to start this information uh, okay you need a particular document regarding your government work so or any other particular private work you need this uh, documentary for your transparency for your verification how we need to start the procedure that is very important a person can request information through writing okay uh, through a uh, english word or in hindi or any other particular language see now in each state they are providing the information so that is not a big deal so we can give our own language we can give in in a mail way uh, in a written format we can just make it in a, a written format we can proceed to the uh, public authority i mean the officers the public information officers the application can be sent to the central public information officers or state public information officers example uh, if you are being in a state you can send to the state public uh, information officers when you are being in a particular tamil nadu you want the uh, the whole indian thing for your knowledge you can send to central public information officers okay so according to your information the case and situation what kind of stuff you need what state thing you need or a central thing you need you can share that to the particular concern and what is the time limit to get the information okay what is the time limit what is the procedure after you applied for the rta so uh, what kind of feedback you will get from there that is the thing we are going to see now 30 days from the date of application it takes 30 days okay once you started applying uh, you need to have a count after the 30 day 48 hours after 30 days after 30 days the 48 hours for the information it will reach you okay any additional 5 days will be added to the above response the time in case of transference of application central public information yes when you are being in a state in a tamil nadu if you are applied to uh, any uh, rta uh, officers it takes 30 days and 48 hours it will reach you but it is in india uh, in central oriented stuff it takes some time according to your uh, uh, document when you are uh, asking for any cassette records video according to the situation of the transparency of a document it takes some time to reach you but the authority should give you the valid reason why it is delaying if uh, without any reason they are delaying it you can file a case against those authority why they are not providing you a particular document they need to provide a uh, valid reason why they are not giving you the stuff you have all the rights to file a case against them why when it is not reaching your particular place that is very important in this and then um, importance of right to information acts okay why it is very important still now this law empowers people to ask for information about central state government including non government organization which is substantially funded by the government so um the law gives citizens of india the tool to fight against corruptions so why we are doing this okay why this act providing you a document which you need we saw why the citizen should know the importance of rta because we need to know what is happening around the society and now the importance of rta why the government is providing particular stuffs to all the citizens once you have a doubt in any particular document or any other government stuffs we can directly go and ask if you are having a doubts regarding the corruption we can directly go and get a uh, document rta information gives citizens a right right for information and denied based on the information received whether there is a constitution rights have met the law's main motto 
is so that they can advocate for themselves so the law's main motto is once you have any doubt or any other uh, uh, transparency issues this law will help you and guide you according to your queries it will deal with it so motto of the rti is to make all the citizens of india to make all the citizens aware to know the law rules and regulations that is the reason why this act created 12th october 2005 i hope this section will be useful i hope this section definitely you guys had some idea related rti act thank you so much for watching and listening thank you